Hi all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video I'll just be going through the process of fitting up the plates, mark around them and then clean the paint away to make sure that when I tack weld them in place I'll get uh, good clean tacks without any contamination. After that I'll tack weld the tube in place to make sure it doesn't move when I do a full weld up. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you do, please give me a thumbs up, click the bell below to get your alerts and please do subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thanks guys. So in preparation for getting this work done today, the first thing I had to do was remove the prop tube and the prop shaft. Um, I wanted to fit the plates up around that opening, mark around them so as I could clean the paint away. When I come to weld these plates, even tack them in place, I want to make sure that the surface is nice and clean fresh steel with no contamination. And I find that marking around the plates with a, a black marker pen just makes it easier for me to remove the paint in, in the right areas but also make sure I get enough clearance around the outside so as I don't get problems with the, the paint getting under the weld or getting too close to the weld and um, that will stuff the welds up. Right. I'm not sure what other people use for um, removing paint from steel services. But um, I use the uh, Scotch Bright or an equivalent brand of um, stripper disc. It's like a nylon foam impregnated with some kind of, um, I'm not really sure what it is, some kind of particle. But I find these remove the paint really well. They leave almost no residue. Um, and if you make sure you clean up with a solvent afterwards to get the, this kind of uh, residual dust and paint, it does an excellent job and it's very, very quick and easy. And as I said, for the clean up afterwards, I just use a bit of turps on a rag. Um, does a good job and leaves the surface nice and clean. Out hot. <laughs> Silly boy.
dog, cut it. Yeah, I can. I'm nearly, well, I'm not nearly finished, but I'm kind of nearly finished up for today. This is in position. So I've got a welder on this side. I've, I've welded it, this bit I've welded up inside there, just put a big tack on it. I've got a really short weld there, and I've got another little short weld there. And then that's that in position then. Um, I won't have time tonight, but next weekend, then I'll weld all this up. I'll put a filler plate in there and weld that up weld all the way around and I'll put the plates on the inside and that'll be the tube done but what I'm going to do is before I, I get a couple of more tacks so I don't move and then before I take before I weld it all up I'll take the shaft right out well I'll take it out that way now I'll we'll take the shaft out so it doesn't um, get in the way of everything mm -hmm. should be right mate Should be right home. Cool. Right. I'll take the dog back down. Huh? I'll take the dog back down. Oh, I'll return, brother. Okay. Cut some up too. Okay, so there's the filler plates just tacked on and a few large tacks holding the tube in place. Um, and we should be good from there on in. Next weekend I'll get that welded up and it'll, um, we'll be finished. The tube will anyway. Alright guys, that's it for now. Um, catch you next weekend.